ten English words ending in full. Today, you're going to learn one of the shortcuts to expanding your vocabulary, focusing on prefixes and suffixes, the beginnings and endings of words. For example, the word "colorful" means full of color, and the word "colorless" means without color. But some of these words aren't as simple as they seem. In today's lesson, I'll teach you ten words ending in "full" with example sentences, so you can see exactly how they are used. And in the next episode, I'll teach you ten English words ending in "less." Here we go. Number one, cheerful. Cheerful means happy, full of positivity, in a good mood. For example, I'm much more cheerful after I have my morning cup of coffee. The opposite of cheerful is grumpy. That means in a bad mood. Number two, cupful. This means a full cup of something. For example, the recipe for the cake says to add a cupful of sugar. You can also use this for other measures. A handful is the quantity you can hold in your hand. A spoonful is the quantity in a spoon, and a mouthful is the quantity you can hold in your mouth. Number three, faithful. To be faithful means to stay dedicated to a person, project, or idea. For example. Bob has been a faithful employee of this company for the past ten years. The opposite of faithful is unfaithful. We also often talk about husbands and wives, or boyfriends or girlfriends, staying faithful to each other. This means they only have relations with each other, and they don't have other lovers. Number four, fruitful. Fruitful does not mean full of fruit. Fruitful means producing a lot of something. For example, our magazine advertisements have been very fruitful. They've resulted in five hundred new customers. The opposite of fruitful is unfruitful or unproductive. Number five, graceful. Graceful means appearing or moving with elegance. We also have the adverb gracefully. For example, the dancer gracefully lifted her arms. The opposite of graceful is awkward. Someone who is awkward does not have good physical coordination and does not move in an elegant manner. Number six, harmful. Harmful means dangerous or causing problems. For example, smoking cigarettes has many harmful effects on your health. The opposite of harmful is harmless. Harmless means something is safe; it's not dangerous. Number seven, mindful. To be mindful means to be attentive, careful, and observant. For example. You should be mindful of how much TV you watch. If not, you could waste a lot of time. The opposite of mindful is mindless. It means you're not paying attention, not observing carefully. Number eight, painful. The word painful describes something that hurts. It causes pain. For example, I just had knee surgery, so walking is very painful. The opposite of painful is painless. Number nine, rightful. Rightful describes what is right, fair, or proper. For example, the police found the stolen car and returned it to its rightful owner. The opposite of rightful is illegitimate or wrongful. And number ten, thoughtful. This means characterized by lots of thought. For example, I enjoyed the thoughtful article about politics that was published yesterday. The opposite of thoughtful is thoughtless. The difference between mindful and thoughtful is that mindful means paying attention or observing, and thoughtful means thinking or considering deeply.
So now you know ten words ending in the suffix full. Cheerful, cupful, faithful, fruitful, graceful, harmful, mindful, painful, rightful, and thoughtful. Remember that all of these words end in f u l. They don't end in f u l l like the word full, the opposite of empty. If you want to increase your vocabulary even further, check out the Vocabulary Builder course. It will teach you hundreds of common English words and show you how they are used in daily life.